So today we're going to talk about calculating concentration using percentages. So I want us to look at now the three formulas. I want us to look at the similarities and differences between the three formulas. So the first thing I want to look at is when you look at the three formulas, you're going to see that the top is always the solute. So every single one of these, the top measurement is the measurement of the solute. And for every single one of these, the bottom measurement is always the solution. So if you remember with percentages, the general formula percent is always part over whole. So you're always going to have the piece over the entire whole. In this case, the part is always the solute, which is dissolved in the solvent, remember. And the bottom is the whole or the solution. So what you have to remember is the solution is always going to be equal to the solute plus the solvent. So when you look at these problems, sometimes they give you just the measurement of the solution, but sometimes they're going to give you the two parts. So if they give you the two parts, you have to remember to add them together to get the total solution before you do the problem. So that's the similarities between the three equations. It's always solute over solution in each one. If you look at the formulas, the letters here, that tells you the units of each thing. So if we're W over W, weight over weight, we're going to do mass of solute over mass of solution. So anytime you see a W, it's going to be the mass in grams. If you're W over V, which is going to be weight over volume, so you're going to do the mass of the solute over the volume of the solution. And then V over V is volume over volume. So remember, it's always going to be solute over the solution, and then the letters are going to tell you whether you're going to do mass or whether you're going to do volume. So let's look at the first problem here. It says, what is the percent by mass, W over W, of 5 grams of iron 2 sulfate in an 80 gram solution? So it's helpful to make little notes, perhaps, as you read this. So first, I see I'm solving for the W over W percent. And I see I have 5 grams of iron 2 sulfate in 80 grams of solution. Well, right away, I know this is my solution which means this has to be my solute. In general, they're always going to give you a formula for the solute. So if they give you a formula or a name of a compound, that's generally going to be the solute. So let's look at our formula. If we're doing weight over weight percent, remember, it's always solute over solution. In this case, it's weight. So we're going to do grams of solute over grams of solution. And then I look right to my problem and I see I have 5 grams of the solute, iron 2 sulfate. And in this case, it gives me just straight out the grams of solution, which is 80. I'm going to remember that since this is a percent, I'm going to multiply by 100. So I'm going to do 5 divided by 80 times 100, and I get 6.25. And then my unit, again, since it's a percent, is just going to be a percent sign. So we go on to the next one, 105 milliliters of solution. So again, it says solution. So this is the whole. This is the whole solution by adding 25 milliliters of benzene to water. Remember, water is the universal solvent, which means the benzene is the solute. What is the percent by volume V over V of this solution? So again, we're going to look at our formula. V over V means it's going to be the volume of the solute over the volume of the solution, because V always means volume, times 100. So then I just plug in. Right from the problem, I see we have 25 milliliters of solute, 105 milliliters of solution times 100. And just like we've been doing um, throughout the year, the units are fine as long as they're the same. So I have um, milliliters by milliliters. So I'm going to do 25 divided by 105 times 100, and I get 23.8% is my volume, volume percent for this solution. Okay, next, an experiment requires a solution that is 80% methyl alcohol. So in this problem, it's giving you the percent. It's almost giving you the answer and you're doing by volume, V over V, what volume of methyl alcohol 
should be added to 200 milliliters of water, there's the solution, to make the solution. So in this case, we're doing it a little bit different. We're going to do volume over volume. So we're going to do the volume of the solute over volume of solution times 100. But now we're going to put slightly different things into the formula. So first, I have my answer. I have 80. So I'm going to put 80 as my percentage. Now it says, what volume of methyl alcohol? This right here is your solute. So that's what you're solving for. So just put an unknown. I use X. You can use any letter, really. Um, but X works for an unknown. And then you have 200 milliliters of solution. And then you're still going to multiply by 100. It's important to remember that you're still multiplying by 100. Because my first step is going to be divide both sides by 100 to get rid of this 100. And what you have to remember is that turns your percent into a decimal. So now I would have 0 0.80 equals x over 200. Remember, you can kind of think of this like over 1, and then you cross multiply. That might be a little bit easier way to solve it. So then your answer is going to be 160 milliliters need to be added. Okay, and finally, a solution is made by adding 125 grams of sodium chloride you know, 150 grams of water. What is the percent weight over weight of this solution? So here we go. Water is the universal solvent. So that means sodium chloride is my solute. So remember, your formula, weight over weight, is going to be the grams of solute over the grams of solution times 100. So I have my grams of solute right up there. It's 150. But my grams of solution has to come from the solute, which is 125, plus the solvent, 150. So we talked about that in the beginning. Sometimes you might have to add them together to get the volume of solution. So we're going to do 275 on the bottom times 100 and you should get about 45%.